Hi everyone, this is Selena Ling, Asia Poga Pro, and um, I think many of you have heard the story of how I started playing poker. Uh, it was about uh, six, seven years ago, and I was, you know, with some friends uh, down at the Crown Poker Room looking for a craps table on a Friday night, and we were walking past, um, you know, at the time it was maybe five, six tables, and most people were playing Manila back then. And my very good friend, um, up to this day, Darren, knew actually, you know, worked his hand, say, hey, you know, come down, try this game out, you know, see how you do. And, you know, I know the hand because um, I guess I grew up playing Toy Dai Di and all these, you know, variations of that in Chinese. But, um, you know, I looked at the game, two cards, like, you know, with the five community cards and so forth. You know, it was a little confusing at the beginning and um, I really frustrated the dealer a lot. Um, I kept saying raise, raise when the pot wasn't was unopened which means there was no bet out there so I would just say raise and the dealer's like you can't raise you can bet but you can't raise so um, yeah it was my starting day on poker and I went from there to online deposited at 600 US dollars ran that up to 10,000 in the first three weeks and never looked back from there um, I started playing tournaments about a year after that and uh, mostly sit and goes at the time um, I started playing the $20, man, uh, $20 180 man on PokerStars and started then playing multi-table tournaments. Um, I actually ended up getting ranked 7th in all of Australia um, after I was putting in some good hours online and from then on um, I also ended up qualifying online for the APP Tim Macau, uh event the first season. Then going on to final tabling a shootout event at APPT Sydney. So after that, um, I guess the sponsorship deal from uh, Team Australia and Team Asia came along soon after that. Um, I had a lot of fun, you know, on both teams working with um, professional poker players from each uh, continent. At the moment in Asia, we have Brian Huang, Raymond Wu, and Ted Jun from, uh, from Korea. Uh, this year, our team is looking to go to EPT London for the next stop. Then uh, we will be doing, uh, there will also be the Macau Poker Cups in Poker Stars Macau. We will be doing the September Red Dragon and then followed by the Macau Poker Cup Championship in November. And um, that would wrap up um, Macau, I think, for the rest of the year. And we will have APPT Cebu. Um, also so there's some you know really good events uh, that we're looking forward to and there is also currently the APPT Macau Millions running and it's a very good buy-in for a great price pool you're looking at a guaranteed one million dollar price pool for a mere two thousand dollar buy-in um, for you guys out there who's just starting out on poker I think what's really important for you guys to remember is bankroll management you'll find a lot of poker players um, give up on that you know, going on to become professional poker players because the way they've just kind of jumped from the stakes, you know, too quickly and what they find is that um, because they're not used to, you know, the game, the players and I guess when the money that you're playing with seem to be like a big effect on how you play the game and it will change your game, you know, it's a time to probably you know, think about moving down to that, uh, you know, one level and so forth and readjust, um, you know, your mindset because once you feel uncomfortable in the game that you're in, it's probably the game that you shouldn't be playing. Um, you feel like, you know, that, I guess, slow and steady would win the race and, you know, when it comes to poker, building up your skills and moving up the stakes slowly is probably, you know, for most people, the right way to go. Um, so if you guys would like to follow our team's progress or, you know, what I'm going to be up to in the next few months, please, um, you know, visit PokerStars Macau website and also Asia Poker News.